I finally achieved my goal of the sub second or the one second draw and I want to share with y'all how I got there. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel where our goal is to provide relevant education and accurate information for all things self-defense from the civilian perspective for civilians and yes, I was just able to hit my one second or sub second draw to first shot from seven yards and I want to share with y'all how I did that. The video that I did several months ago talking about you can't buy performance, I just finished a green ops class and that was a motivator for me to, to get my ass in gear. And one of the best ways that I can do that or you can do that and it helped me achieve my goal is dry practice. Uh, Steve Anderson's refinement and repetition uh, comes very highly recommended from a bunch of different people. So you need dry practice and you also need a shot timer, okay? Um, there's one, if you want to test your skills and find out where you're at, then we need to see where we are at a certain distance, at an acceptable time standard, and uh, being able to record our accuracy. That's essentially how we track progress. So after that class, I came back, and essentially for the last month and a half, last 45 to 60 days, uh, I have been dry practicing about three or four of those Steve Anderson drills up in my office. I've got a reduced size IPSC taped up to the wall because I can only go back to four yards, but a reduced size A zone uh, basically mimics what an A zone is uh, at seven. So I've been practicing on that, working on my draw, uh, trigger prep, and a bunch of different stuff. But I was putting in about three to four days a week, 10 to 15 minutes of dry practice each session and when we finally went out to the range with my buddy Matt uh, this past week I was able to consistently hit one second or below one second I actually got some of that on video we shot a little bit after that and guys I was getting in a groove um, unfortunately I didn't get that groove on film uh, but yeah I was able to achieve that one second draw so first things how we did that guys you got to get your draw stroke as efficient as possible scott jedlinski's got a video up on youtube i'll link that video for you guys that talks about all the inefficiencies that people do uh, whether it's the tactical hitch or they're waiting they're they're not being as deliberate on the draw so we got to get the draw stroke out of the way as quickly as we can people aren't being uh, they're, they're being very nonchalant withdrawing their pistol. You gotta have a sense of urgency. Uh, and so removing a lot of those inefficiencies or whatnot, Scott talks about that, but you gotta start from there. And then once I did that, a couple things that really helped me out. So number one, getting the gun out of the holster, uh, that stab pluck method. Um, I actually, when I draw my pistol, I actually, um, my hand stabs down at the pistol because for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction that gun pops up out of the holster a lot quicker than if i were to just try to come in and grab it it's also more of a repetitive motion as well or i have much better repeatability with that uh, number two the support hand when your support hand grips the gun or meets up with your strong hand i like to use my left hand as my guide into uh, the target. It just seems what works for me. You might have some different things. And then at the very end, Scott talks about using your pinky, a little bit of pressure at the end because the angle of a Glock pistol, which is what I shoot, is a little bit steeper than most. Um, and so you need that last bit of um, torque motion or that pinky pressure to drop that dot in. So stabbing that holster, my left hand is used to drive that pistol into the target. And at the very end, I kind of have that cock forward, which drops that dot right into the target. So um, yeah, I was very, very pleased with, uh, with doing that. I mainly shot from the cheater grip. Um, I was able to do that a few times from the high thoracic, uh, basically aiming for the belly button to draw up. What's crazy is several years ago, uh, 1.5 is what where I was at. I was stuck at about one and a quarter, 1.2 for well over a year. And then just this past year, I've been making good progress. Uh, 1.1, 1.15 is kind of where I was at. And then now I'm really pushing that one second, sub one second, and I want to stay there. Um, and not necessarily get faster, but I want to be essentially 100% accurate 
within that time standard at that distance. So anyway, guys, you can do it. It just takes practice. It takes commitment. If you want to put in the work, if you want to put in the time, you can do it. Okay, so don't let anybody tell you that you can't. I started as a complete noob, uh, horrible times, and then as I progressed in my shooting uh, journey, my shooting path, I've gotten to that point to where I've achieved one of my goals, and I'm really, really excited. So yeah, guys, dry fire, you gotta have a shot timer. Steve Anderson's refinement and repetition, and then go check out Scott's videos uh, that he has online. He really doesn't do much more content right now because he's teaching all the time. Uh, but he does a really good job of talking about efficiencies within the draw stroke. Okay, so anyway, guys, if you got any questions or comments below, put them down there. Um, I'll get to them as best as I can, try to answer some of your questions. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. I was able to achieve a goal, sub second or that one second draw to first shot at seven. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Be safe, be smart, be skilled. Catch you on the next one.